Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to use Selenium to library keyword assign ID to element. Assign ID to element keyword assigns a temporary identifier to element specified by locator. This keyword is mainly useful if the locator is complicated or slow XPath expression. Identifier expires when the page is reloaded. Now let's see an example. I opened up the Firefox browser and opened a file. The file is on the local hard drive. So we can use a file with file protocol. So I opened up the file and this is a test page for the keyword assign ID to element. Now let's look at the username text field. I right click on the element and look at its element definition. I clicked on the inspect element option. So on this input field we have type equal to text, we have style and we have field value login username. So we don't have ID or name locator in the input text box definition. So we can identify the element by using XPath. So I close the inspect element console. So I have already defined a XPath for this web element. I copy the web element. Now open up the page again and right click view XPath. So this XPath looks complicated. Now let's change it. By using XPath checker you can check if XPath can pinpoint one element on the web page. So if your XPath definition is correct, in the result window it should display the element itself. So now we have form and the ID is login form. Under form we have table, under table we have table body and the this one is the first row and second cell and under the cell we have the input element. Now let's look at the HTML source. So right click on the element, click on inspect element. So we have form that is the container for the input text box. So under form we have table, under table we have table body and under table body we have first row, under first row we have two cells, TD is a cell, so second cell and under cell we have input box. So by using this hierarchy we can identify the element username text field. So now let's close the element inspector console and open up the XPath checker and using this XPath we can identify the element on this web page. Now close the XPath checker and close this window. So this test case 
Step one is open browser. We use file protocol to open the test file. Second is maximize browser window. I maximize browser window. The third line is assign ID to element. Because the XPath definition for the username field is correct, we can use XPath equal to this XPath definition. Now for this XPath, we can replace an ID. ID equal to login button. I added slip 5 seconds so that I can move the Firefox window from another screen to the main screen for display. Step number five, page should contain element. ID equal to login button. So this element can be identified by using ID equal to login button. So now let's change it. Let's change it ID equal to login username. Now copy it and page should contain element login username. On that testing web page, there is no element with ID equal to login username. This ID equal to login username will be assigned to the login username text field by using the keyword assign ID to element. Now let's run the script. I save this test case and I tag it this test case as assign ID. I clicked on the run tab. Now let's run the test. Click on start. So this test completed and one critical test, one passed, one test total, one passed. Now let's look at the element on this page. So I right click on the username. Since this window is opened within the robot framework session, the Xpath viewer is not displayed. But I can use the inspect element to open the page source for the web page. So click on inspect element. Now let's click on the username text field. And as you see on this uh, imp text box, we have input ID equal to login username. So this ID is assigned to this element by using assign ID to element keyword in robot framework test automation. In this video tutorial, I explained how to use the keyword assign ID to element. So in your web test automation script, if you have very complicated XPath expression or if your XPath expression hierarchy changes all the time, you can use assign ID to element for the web elements under test and then you can use the ID throughout the test case. But remember that if the page is refreshed or reloaded, the identifier expires. So assign ID to element only works on the current test session. For written examples, please visit 
www.seleniummaster.com website. Thanks for watching.